Yeah, I'll tell you guys, uh, we were able to move the ball pretty well. And Derek seemed to spark you guys as well. Uh, was it just a case of too many turnovers? Um, I mean, I guess so. You never want to. Um, it's hard to win the game when you turn the ball over. You know what I mean? I think uh, that's uh, it's common knowledge. But I mean, at the end of the day, I think that everybody on our team fought hard. Um, I mean, to the end of the game. I mean, I don't, I don't blame it on anybody. I mean, we just just came up short, man. Uh, each and every guy goes in that locker room and goes out on that field and plays their tail off each and every day. And uh, you know, even that practice, man, we all come together and try to do what we can do to find a way to win games. And unfortunately, we just didn't get it done today. When you look at your journey, starting this year, not even on the team, and then being a key part of the top seed, what, what did you learn about yourself as you went through the different struggles? Um, what I learned, first of all, is that God is good. I mean, that's something I already knew, but just seeing it, the way pretty much my life changed overnight, pretty much, it was just just amazing, man. You know, and uh, you know, this one hurts, like just being able to be back in. Uh, be in a position and be able to help this team get to where we are now, man. And, and just to come up short, like, I don't know, it just, it just hurt my heart, man. I just, you know, I want to finish it off the right way. I know you're a confident guy, but did you maybe improve something to yourself a little bit during the course of the season and maybe change the, the course of your career potentially? Um, I mean, I think what I put to myself is that, uh, I don't really want to say I proved it to myself. I always felt, felt like that was in me already. I just had to prove it to everybody else. Um, and I think I got, you know, the opportunity to do that thanks to the Titans, thanks to, you know, Coach Brable and, you know, John and everybody um, for believing in me and trusting me and giving me this opportunity, this platform to show what I'm able to do. And uh, I'm just so thankful, so grateful. Uh, like I said before, God is good. And uh, I just want to continue to show people that uh, I can play in this league. Um, I could be a good running back, and you know, I could I could go out there and ball. Big run you had, kind of reminded me of like the beast quake. I mean, that was uh, that was an angry run, man. Were you an angry man on that run? Tell, tell me about uh, that. Man, I just I just want to you know help the team win, you know, and whatever whatever uh, my role was, whatever my job was, when my number got called, I just wanted to be effective and be as uh, productive as possible, like like any other game, man. Uh, that's all it was, just a mentality, a mindset, just to go out there and just play our style of football. I mean, run hard and finish runs. With the, how tough is the finality of this, knowing you know, there's no game next week? It's tough, man. It's very tough. I mean, just coming in and battling with these guys, I wasn't ready for it to be over with. You know, um, a guy being at home for the first eight weeks, I'm, I'm trying to play as much football as possible. You know what I mean? And uh, it just sucks, man. It, it hurts. Like, it really does. And, um, I had to hold back tears because it, it's just, you know, like I said, coming from where I come from to be in this position and have this opportunity in front of me, like, I mean, this, I couldn't act for a better situation than this, you know what I mean? So, um, like I said, I'm just thankful, though. You know, I don't want to make it seem like a bad thing. I'm very thankful and very happy for this opportunity. Unfortunately, it didn't go the way I wanted to go, but, um, you know, I'm still grateful for all the positives that did come out of this. So, you know, we'll see what's next.